Hi guys, welcome to class. In this hour, we're going to be working on our pronunciation and intonation. Um, I'll just warn you first um, that it'll be kind of British style, yeah, because I can't do American, and I don't want to try uh, because it'll be embarrassing for me and for other people. So uh, this is going to be focusing mainly on British pronunciation and intonation. We're going to read an article together, focusing more on on actually how to say it and not really on what it's saying. Although we'll talk about that as well. I think it's quite an interesting um, article as well. So uh, we have Victor. Hello, Victor. We'll come back to you. Uh, Lydia's back. Hi. You didn't run away. This is good. No. You didn't run away. I'm happy. OK, so good to speak with you again, Lydia. And mm -hmm. Khalil is also back. Yeah, hi. Uh, good. I'm glad you didn't run away as well, yeah? So, OK, so this, guys, it'll be a lot less thinking, yes? This is just about pronunciation things, so it should be OK for you. And Javier is there. Are you there? <laughs> Daniel's saying, I can try British, can you do Scottish? Yeah, this is why, yeah? so can you imagine? Uh, Daniel, be interested in speaking to you one day, yeah? So, <laughs> that's cool. So, Hamza is there. Hi. Good to speak to you, Hamza. Are you okay? Uh, well, well, I'm okay. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, how are you feeling about your pronunciation today? I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really uh, eager. Okay, yeah, so eager, good, you're enthusiastic, perfect. And Danielle, or Daniela. Okay, I can't hear you just yet. Just check your settings, guys, if I haven't spoken to you yet. But Shinobu. Hello, uh, Shinobu? Oh, that was Javier. Javier, yes, we can now. Hello, hello, Martin. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Good that you could, we could finally speak with you. Perfect. Uh, welcome, Javier. Okay, um, thank you. Got... I listened to you before, but I, I, you, I can't speak, so hello again. Perfect. You've got a good opportunity to come. Good. Okay, so, um, Shinobu, can we hear you? Okay, we can see. What I'll do is I'll just share my screen so that you can see um, just here, okay? So make sure the microphone's not muted. Just up here. Okay. And hopefully it will work. Um, if it's not that, it could be your settings as well. We just can't hear you at the moment. Hopefully we can hear you very, very soon. Oh, just uh, Victor, are you there now? Okay, in that case, let's go on. We're going to make a start. What we're going to do is, uh, as, in the other, uh, as in previous sessions for this, I'm going to get each of you to read a bit. And we're we're going to read the same kind of thing over and over again just to really perfect our pronunciation, intonation, and things. Um, it's all basically uh, lots of people have different interpretations. So I will, of course, suggest some things, but it doesn't mean that it's the, the only way. Yeah? I'm not right. Yeah? It just means that one thing that I would do as a native speaker when reading this kind of text. So it's, uh, today it's about it's an article. Before in previous classes, I've, I've showed short stories, and the intonation with storytelling and reading an article like this is a bit different. So I thought I'd give you something um, new to try um, and see if uh, we can learn some patterns maybe and stuff like this. Um, Shinobu. Hello, 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 hello. Nice, to, uh, nice that you're here. Can we hear you? Not yet, not yet. But we'll keep going, we'll come back to you. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, so uh, I'll send you the article if you haven't managed to see this just yet. Um, just now. Uh, please open this up. I'll share my screen as well, just in case you're having problems opening it. Just in case, um, I don't know. Yeah, just so you can see it. I don't know if BBC 
blocked anywhere, it could be so. Um, so I'll just share my screen as well so we can read this together. Um, did anyone just join? I think that's okay. Okay, let's go on. So who would like to read first of all? Well, for me, for example, uh, if you want. Yes, please, Javier. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, I start to read. Uh, yes, please, yes, please. And guys, guys, before he starts, um, as he's reading, could you kind of make mental notes um, and suggest, think of ways that you could suggest that he improves. We're going to analyze each other, and you can also analyze me, and you can say what you would do even better, yeah? So if I, if I say something. So we're just going to help each other out. That's the, the idea. Um, and I want you to give feedback as well. I don't just want me to give feedback. That's boring. So please, as he's speaking, uh, think of something to comment on, OK? Cool. Let's try it, Javier. Can you hear me? Yeah, yep, sure. Oh, nice. Oh, who was that? Was that that wasn't Javier? Was that someone else? Oh, Javier. Yeah. You that? Okay. Yes, I start. Please. Yes, please. Yes. Mm, Hong Kong taxi driver, sweet for six cent overcharge. A Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging. A passenger by um, zero half. Um, Hong Kong dollar, um, zero zero pounds or zero point zero six dollars, uh, has had the case against him thrown out. Okay, first of all, any comments from anyone? Don't be shy, okay? Just say anything that you think, oh, is that okay? Or even say things that were good. What did he do good? What did he do well? Silence. The light is all right. Yeah, it's all right. No, it's good. Okay, so no, I'd say it's fine. Um, overcharging. You said this. Overcharging. Overcharging. Have you? Oh yes. Overcharging. Over. Overcharging. Charging. Okay. Overcharging. Yeah. Overcharging. So a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by Hong Kong uh, by five. I don't know what the currency is there. Hong Kong dollar, but I don't know if it's Hong Kong cent. I don't know if that. Okay. Does anyone know? Is anyone from Hong Kong? I don't think so in this class. Does anyone know? I, I know that yeah, it's a Hong Kong dollar. So would it be the Hong Kong cent? Um, like, no, it's it's, it's 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 zero point zero point five Hong Kong dollar, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. So uh, so a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by um, five. At 0.5 Hong Kong dollars, it doesn't sound right for me, but that's cool, um, has had the case against him thrown out. So, a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger. But anyway, so, start with a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by. Do you see how it goes? So, it goes up, then a bit down. So, a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by five Hong Kong. Whatever the. Let's call it. Five dollars. Yeah, it's easy to say. But, okay, so just work out uh, the the intonation pattern you can kind of use. Okay, so would anyone else like to try this? This first sentence. Can I have a go? Yes, please, Khalil. Okay, uh, here she goes. Um, Hong Kong taxi driver sued for six cent overcharge. A Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by 0.5 Hong Kong dollars, which is 0.04 pounds or 0.06 dollars or six cents, has had the case against him thrown out. Perfect. The lawsuit. Okay. Try the next bit. All right. Uh, the lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. A uh, Thursday, Thursday. The lawsuit, which was withdrawn yeah. on Thursday. Uh, okay, the lawsuit, which was uh, withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, it uh, lasted six months. Okay, can everyone say this Thursday? Because I know that it's quite difficult um, with the th th th. Yeah, so I'm going to get all of you to say this. Um, by the way, uh, I'm just reading the messages. Is there someone who can answer? Um, Sammy, what's the? Uh, have you got a particular question? Just write it in the, the, the 
text box. But also, I'm good, thank you, Sammy. How are you? Yeah, just write that also. And Anastasia says hi, yeah, so good that you're there. Um, okay, feel free to join in if you, if you like, Anastasia. But, um, action, can you say Thursday? Uh, Thursday. Uh, Dan. Oh, can we hear you now, Dan? Thursday. Cool, perfect. Hamza. Thursday. Say that again. Thursday. Yeah, it's fine. Javier, one more time. Thursday. It was fine. Lydia. Thursday. Okay, you're, you're okay with this. Um, is there a particular sound that you guys have in English that you just don't understand how to pronounce it correctly? Uh, yes, uh, Martin, in my case, uh, I will say the first uh, word, word, the lawsuit. Lawsuit. Or suit. Lawsuit. Lawsuit. Okay. But Americans would game maybe lawsuit or something, yeah? Maybe that, that's a bit like, I don't know, but we'd say or, yeah? Lawsuit. Like, like, like this. With an OR, like or. Lawsuit. But that's different in American English, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, so uh, we'd say lawsuit. Okay, uh, lawsuit. Any more sounds that are difficult for people? Or any more questions? Cool, in that case, let's, let's go on. I want to get now uh, Hamza yeah. to read that first paragraph. First? Yes, please. Okay. A Hong, Kong, a Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by $5 has had the case against him thrown out. Has had the case. Has had the case. Can you make it flow a bit more? Has had the case. Has had the case. Huh? Yep. So, has had the case. The, uh, is, with this one, the is not so he has had the case. Has had the case. Yeah, it's kind of like the. The, really soft. It's had the case. The the. It's kind of harder. Has had the case. Has had the case. Had the, the case. Yeah, against him thrown out. Cool. So it kind of flows a bit more. A Hong Kong taxi driver prosecuted for overcharging a passenger by five dollars, whatever, has had the case against him thrown out. Thrown out. Can you, can you say this, Hamza? Thrown, thrown out. out. Thrown out. Thrown uh, out. So can I get everyone to say, has had the case against him thrown out? Just that bit. Has had the case against him thrown out. Lydia, can you try that? Has had the case against him thrown out. Has had the case against him thrown out. Okay. Next. Has had the case against him thrown out. Okay. Uh, Dan, would you like to try? Yeah. Has had the case against him thrown out. Has had the case against him thrown out. Okay, that's fine. Action. Mm. Has that the case? Uh, let me see. Has that the case against him thrown out? Has had the case. Case. Make the, the C softer. Has had the case against him thrown out. Against him thrown out. Yeah, that's that's all right. But guys, you're too good. Yes. <laughs> maybe this is too easy. Okay. Uh, I should choose something more difficult. Maybe. Uh, Victor. Are you there? Okay, let's let's go on. So that that's fine, yeah. The way you're speaking so far, the intonation is also okay. Um, in a minute, what we we'll do, we we'll, we'll get through a bit more of this text, then we're going to go on to tongue twisters, uh, because I think this will be quite straightforward for you. Reading articles is usually the intonation is quite straightforward. Reading stories is maybe a bit more animated. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get through a bit more of this this text, then we'll go into something like tongue twisters. Okay, so uh, the lawsuit. That's okay. Uh, Who would like to read the next? Paragraph. So uh, we we've got someone to read the, it already, but from the lawsuit, let's get maybe Dan to read that. The lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Tuesday after the prosecution offered no evidence, last, lasted six months. So the lawsuit suit. The lawsuit suit. Uh, a suit. Is a, a lawsuit something else? But a suit is. Do, does anyone know what a suit is? Like a business suit. Lydia? Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, you know. Yep, yeah, you know. Okay, so it's the same pronunciation. It's just a bit different. So the lawsuit. Okay. 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 Uh, and also say. Uh, so the lawsuit which was withdrawn. 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 Withdrawn, drawn. So don't get it, but uh, drawn, withdrawn. Withdrawn. Dr 
Okay, again, this is different in American English, um, but r, r, keep it really flat, really flat. But Americans maybe r, r, it's a bit more like that. Really, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, say anything, but it's more r. Okay, so uh, with drawn, drawn, r, r. You do I must look like an idiot, guys. Yeah, I realise this. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, uh, Dan, can you say withdrawn? Withdrawn. Not too bad. Action. Can you say this? Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Dr. 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 Not dr. Drawn. Not withdrawn. But withdrawn. Withdrawn. Like that. Withdrawn. Yeah, like rrr, yeah, but rrr, withdrawn. Withdrawn. Okay. Uh, Lydia, can you say this? Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Yeah, easy. Javier, can you say? Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Yeah, that's right. Withdrawn. Hamza, one more time, maybe. Withdrawn. Uh, withdrawn. Withdrawn. Okay. Uh, and by the way, Nicholas is saying, I miss you. I miss you too, Nicholas. Yeah, I haven't spoken in a long time, but he's writing to me on Facebook, which is good. Um, and. Yeah, okay, so take care, Nicholas. Hopefully, speak to you soon. So, uh, that's withdrawn. I think that's quite. Uh, the lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Okay, if you listen to the intonation here, you start high, and then with this subordinate clause, you go lower. So, the subordinate clause is this part of the sentence which was drawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence. Yeah, it's subordinate, I don't know if you know this already, probably in your own language, but you, you can take it away and the sentence would still make sense. So you can say just, the lawsuit lasted six months. That makes sense as a sentence. It sounds okay, but this subordinate clause, which is separated by two commas, is additional in information. And with additional information, with the intonation, you go down. So, the lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Yeah? So you go down a bit with these kind of subordinate clauses in most cases. Okay? Just a little bit. You don't have to exaggerate it. You don't have to make it sound stupid. You just uh, reduce it a little bit. Okay? Was that kind of clear for people? Did everyone understand? Yeah. So uh, the bit where, where, which you can take out and it would still make sense like the bit I've highlighted, go down a bit, okay? So I'll get Lydia yeah. to read this bit with that intonation. So the lawsuit, and then go down a little bit. Okay. That the lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Beautiful, perfect, yes. Okay, uh, Javier. Mm, the lawsuit which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Yeah, and that's the point, I offered no evidence, lasted six months, yeah? So you go up at the end, and then uh, up to down afterwards, okay? Perfect, good. Uh, Hamza, would you like to try? Okay. The lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Nice, okay. Uh, Hamza. Yeah, it was already me. Oh wait, that was you. Sorry, 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 okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Dan, yes, please. Yeah. The lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Tuesday after prosecution offered no evidence, lasted six months. Okay, can you say evident? Evidence. Evidence and lasted six months. Months. Last six months. Months. Yeah, not month, but month. Months. Unless okay. you're northern. If you're northern, then anything goes, yeah? So, okay. Uh, so, lasted six months, yeah? In, in the north of the UK, they would say this, yeah? So, lasted six months, yeah? Something like that. They talk a bit like that all the time. Okay, so, um, lasted six months, okay? Cool. Yeah. That was fine. And uh, action. Could you try Okay. It the lawsuit, which was withdrawn on Thursday after the prosecution offered, the, offered no evidence, lasted six months. Yeah, offered no evidence, lasted six months. Yeah, you, you, you didn't uh, exaggerate it, which, but it was also sounded quite natural, which is okay. Okay, uh, let's go to the next paragraph. Volunteer to read this. Who would like to read that bit? 
Okay, I can read it. Yes, please. Shall I read it? Yes, please. Yeah. Tamoichi said the case had tied him out, and he wanted he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. He said the case had tied him out, had tired him out. I tired would make it a bit longer. So t I don't know his name yet. Yeah? So um, no one speaks Chinese, right? <laughs> By any no. chance. We need Chow, yeah? So where's Chow gone? Yeah. Okay, so um Tam um, T H, yeah, so this guy. Tam. Okay, said the case had tired him out. Had tired him out. You kind of elongate these kind of things when you're trying to emphasize it. So uh, Tam said the case had tired him out and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. So and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. So and he wanted is emphasized a little bit. Or he wanted an explanation. You can either emphasize he wanted an explanation or he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. You can choose if you emphasize the wanted or the second part of explanation. Okay? So that's that's a choice you can make as to why he was sued, as to why he was sued, as to why he was sued. And then why is uh, subtly emphasized, yeah? But don't exaggerate it too much. So uh, I would elongate this a little bit, meaning making it, making the sound a bit longer, just to emphasize, and either emphasize wanted or the second part of explanation. Okay, try that, Lydia. See if it works. Okay. Tamoichi said the case had tired him out, and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. Okay, now try it. Maybe don't exaggerate the wanted, but exaggerate <laughs> the uh, nation. Try that, the other way around that. Okay. Tamoichi said the case had him tired him out and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. That's all right, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, who would like to try that? I won't get you all to read the same thing, but just someone who would like to practice that particular thing that we discussed, shout out, okay? Any volunteers? In fact, I will pick on people. Okay, so action, yes, please. Okay. Uh, and the same, yeah? Yeah, yes, please. Tam Hauich Tam said the case had tied him out and he wanted he wanted an, explan an explanation as to why he was sued. Nothing wrong with them, yeah? So again, you can have your own interpretations. It doesn't have to be just as we've discussed. As long as it sounds natural, as long as it sounds interesting, that, that's all that matters. Okay, uh, Dan, uh, in fact, yeah, yeah, we, we'll get you to do it. Dan, yes, please. TH said the case had tied him out and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. 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 Okay. You, uh, because uh, sometimes in the UK people say things like with this SU, they make it like a sue, but it sounds very, very posh, very like the queen. Yeah, so uh, for example, this word, um, suitable. The normal person would say suitable. I don't know if you can read what I've written to you because I can't see that it's come up. So I'll write it in the Google chat um, as well. So suitable is kind of British English suitable. But if you want to be kind of upper class sounding, like the Queen, she would say suitable. Yeah, so like a suit becomes a suit. Yeah, but it sounds very, very, very um, high, high, yeah, like the Queen. But people do say it, you do hear it sometimes. Oh, that's rather suitable. Yeah, but it sounds very, yeah, it sounds too much. But we'll just say suitable. Okay? So uh, it's up to you. It's, it depends on the image that you want to portray. Yeah, if you want to ha have that kind of image, then why not? Okay, so, uh, so the case had tied him out, and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. Sued. Yeah, keep it flat. Uh, let's get. Hamza to read that, please. Okay. Okay. Um, said the case had tied him out and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. Tired him out. So go down for this out. Tired, the case had tired him out. Tied him out. And the whole thing again, please? Oh, okay. Tam, uh, Tam Hoja said the case had tied him out and he wanted an explanation as to why he was sued. That's nice. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I think someone just joined. Jocelyn has joined us. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, good to speak with you. We spoke yesterday, but today we're focusing on pronunciation and intonation, okay? So I've sent an article to the, the guys, 
Um, and I'll send it to you as well so you can see this. Please. Uh, uh, just in case. Uh, okay, so thank you. That, uh, I, I don't see the text, please. No worries, no worries. Okay, so if you see uh, on the verbing chat, I'm not sure if it appeared, or go to the Google chat, I'll send it to you there just because I, I can't see anything that I'm writing on the verbing. Um, Lydia, can you see anything I'm writing on the verbing chat? Okay? Yeah, yes, I can. You can see, I just can't for some reason. Okay, so if you open this, Jocelyn, but in any case, I've got my screen shared for you. Uh, we're just talking about pronunciation. We're reading an article together. Yeah. So, Jocelyn, could I get you, please, to read uh, the next bit, please? So, so the bit that I've, I've highlighted for you. So from Hong Kong taxi drivers. Okay. Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest dollar when a given change. Okay, so the first thing, Hong. Can you say ha, ha, ha? Uh, uh. Uh, it's really difficult. I know for French and Italian speakers, it's very difficult. This her, uh, because yeah, they say actually in the UK, it, the, the, the proper British English should be without pronouncing the the H's. Yeah, so you should say, oh, that's very honest. Not, okay. Yeah, well, that's okay. That's an exception. But uh, the hotel. Yeah, I'm going to the hotel. That's uh, like I think they were saying that originally it was so. Yeah. Uh, but, so try Hong Kong. Say again, trust me. Hong Kong. Not Hong, but Hong. Breathe out. Oh, it's okay. Hong uh, uh, Kong. Okay, one second. Hong. <laughs> Try. Uh, like your. <laughs> yeah? Hong Kong. Hong. Can you try? Hong Kong. Okay, oh, but it's difficult. Yeah? It's very difficult. This one is it's difficult. Very I know difficult. For French and Italian speakers, yeah? I don't know if anyone is an Italian speaker here, right? No, we haven't. Yes, yeah. So, oh, Dan, yeah? So, do you find this difficult? Hong, like the H? Yeah. For Italian, I don't think it's so difficult. Hong. Hong. You can do it. That's okay. Okay, so Hong Kong, okay? Next thing, Jocelyn, uh, can you say frequently? Frequently. Frequently. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. And drivers. Drivers. And drivers. Us. So you're saying us, not as. Yeah. So us. Drivers. 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 Yeah. Say it one more time. Drivers. Dr. R. 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 Drivers. 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 Yeah. So like this, I write it down. Drivers. So dry, uh, maybe vers, like that, drivers. Drivers. Drivers, yeah, okay, that's, that's okay, that's good. Okay, the next one, uh, round up to the nearest. Can you say this, Jocelyn? Nearest. 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 Like nearest. Is, is. nearest. The nearest ne dollar. Nearest. Perfect, nearest. Nearest. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was perfect. Um, at the end of the T's, try to stop the sound immediately. So nearest. 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 Really nice, really good. Okay, dollar when giving change. I think that was okay. Can you say change? Giving change. Ch, ch, ch. Change. 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 Not change. changer, not changer, but change. 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 Good. Change. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. So that's, that's good. Um, Lydia, can I get you to say the same thing, please? Yes. Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently run up to the nearest dollar when given change. Dollar. Can you say dollar? Dollar. 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 Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest. Round up to the nearest. Can you say that? Just that. Round up to the nearest. Round up to the nearest. Round up to the nearest. Up, up. Round up, round up to the nearest. Up, maybe up. up, up. Oh, that's yeah. No, that's okay. That's fine. Nearest dollar when giving change. Can you say that when giving yeah. change? When giving change. Nice, clear. Uh, Javier, yes, please. Yes, um, Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently. Sorry, F C is a small. Uh, uh, Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently run up to the nearest dollar when giving change. Yeah, 
yeah, so round to the nearest dollar. Um, maybe, yeah, so the dollar, we say dollar, yeah, N not dollar, yeah, but dollar, but that's that's a small thing, that's that's not a problem. Hamza, yes, please. Okay. Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest dollar when doing change. Nothing wrong, nothing to say. Dan, yes, please. Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest dollar when giving change. Frequently, not frequently. 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 Perfect. Uh, and last but not least, action. Hong Kong taxi drivers uh, frequently um, round up to the nearest dollar when giving change. Yeah, that's that's okay. So Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest dollar when giving change. If you want to emphasize something with the intonation, I would say uh, Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently. So emphasize frequently and nearest. So Hong Kong taxi drivers frequently round up to the nearest dollar when giving change. So I would emphasize these two things if you wanted to emphasize something because they, it's quite important. Yeah. So it's emphasizing the fact that they do it really often, frequently, and to the nearest dollar. Yeah, that's also important. Okay, uh, so when you want to emphasize things, just think of the most important words in the sentence and just emphasize them slightly. I guess it's the same in your language, I'm not sure, with the intonation and stuff. But uh, Victor, are you there now? Okay, can't hear you just yet. Uh, but okay, any questions so far on what we've talked about? We're going to have a break from that bit and we're going to go into some tongue twisters, okay? Um, does anyone know of any tongue twisters? Yes. English or in your language? Uh, I can say English and it's... Go for it, yeah. Do you know how, how much wood could a woodchuck check? Oh yeah, yeah, I know this one, but I can't do it. Yeah, Wait. I'm an expert on it, actually. Tell us, tell us. Okay. How much would could I check 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 Hands up, I can't do it, sorry, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Yes, this is a common one. Uh Lydia, do you know any? No, I don't know what is it. What a tongue twister is. So a tongue twister is what have you? Could you explain? Well really really I don't know which is that. No twister. A tongue twister, yeah. Maybe, maybe you use is um when you say a sentence with a similar uh, letters. Yeah, it's basically uh, something that what's happened. Okay, my screen went the other side. So it's a tongue twister is something that just twists your tongue, and it's designed to train your well, native speakers to it. You have your own, I'm sure, in your own languages, and um, phrases that are very difficult to say quickly. So one of the famous ones. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay. Yeah, this kind of thing. So twist your tongue and it's good for pronunciation training, things like this. So, uh, is that clear, Lydia? You, you know yes, 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 yes. So let's go into Spanish. Okay. Pedrito clavó un clavito. ¿Qué clavito clavó Pablito? <laughs> ah? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Javier, you speak Spanish, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah, I see say? another. Is, uh, El cielo está ladrillado. ¿Quién lo desenladrillará? El desenladrillador que lo desenladrille o desenladrillador será. Are you okay, Javier? Can I get a doctor? Is it okay? I have to rest now. It sounds like oh yeah, so like a I don't know. That's cool. Uh, Jocelyn, could you give us one in French? A tongue twister, something that you say that's very difficult to say. I have an example. No worries, no worries. No worries. Um, if you can come up with the one, suggest it later, but don't worry too much. Hamza, do you have one off hand? In Turkish? Yeah. Uh, sure, the same sack, the 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 sack, 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 yes. <laughs> yes come on. Not really. Um, there's a British comedian. Um, she made a sketch um, and she was trying to be a translator. I don't know. Has anyone heard of Catherine Tate? Uh, no, oh, you need to learn. Uh, you need to know her. Okay, so I'll find as we're speaking. I'll try and find a video to show you. Um, and she's just basically 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't tell you about it. I'll let you watch it, and then we'll, we'll talk about it um, in another time. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite interesting. It just reminds me of that. So, Dan, can you give us one in Italian? Mm, yes, uh, I have a short phrase. Is tigre contro tigre that you repeat uh, many times, like tigre, 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 tigre contro tigre, tigre contro tigre. It's, okay. it's kind of difficult to say. I guess the Spanish speakers will find this okay, yeah? So yeah, it like... we have the same in Spanish. <laughs> tres, ti tres tristes tigres comían trigo en un trigal. Yeah, so similar, yeah. <laughs> good, good, nice, yeah? So I trust you. Action, have you got another one? Yes. Cool. Okay, but, uh, so this, so, I also yeah, that's all I hear. It's interesting. Um, Shinobu. Shino oh, we couldn't hear you just yet. Okay, we'll come, we'll come back. I hope it's alright. And Mario, 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 Mario. You've been trying. I've seen you try to get in. Can we now speak with you? Yeah. Good, cool. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. What happened? Was it okay? Getting in. Yeah. I saw your name yes, popping I, in and out. Yeah, yeah. I, I have terrible uh, issue with my internet connection, but uh, I try. <laughs> I hope that everything is going to be okay now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how are you guys? <laughs> no worries. Okay, so uh, Jocelyn is also from France. Um, Mario, uh, Mario is also from France. Um, could you suggest a French tongue tongue twister, Mario? Oh, huh. oh, like this, just like the oh. So you. So, for example, like yeah. uh, Peter yeah. Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, yeah. But in yeah, I know, I know tongue twister, but uh, in French, uh, some things. I cannot get him to, uh, come off my mind. Um, Un chasseur cherchant chasser sans chien doit savoir chercher sans ses chaussettes. Okay. <laughs> say, say, one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Un chasseur sachant chercher sans son chien doit savoir chercher avec sans ses chaussettes. <laughs> like, shush, shush, shush. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's impressive. Mario, do you know this one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I already heard, uh, on, hear about try, it. Go on, try it, try it. Go on, go on, Mario. Un chasseur. Alors, comment tu dis ça Un chasseur sachant chasser sans son chien doit savoir chasser sans ses chaussettes. Ouais, ok. Un chasseur sachant chasser sans son chien doit savoir chasser sans ses chaussettes. I don't know what's happening, yeah? So this is going to be crazy. Ok, this is cool. So, all right, now we're going to do some in English. Um, so, Hamza, I think it was Hamza, wasn't it, that had one already um, in English. Does anyone else know any tongue twisters in English? Any good ones? And why I'm doing that, I'm just going to turn my mic. Okay, so, um, does anyone know any in English? Mario, do you, do you have any? No, I don't remember. I don't no remember. I, I, I can't. <laughs> okay, the first one is we're going to start yeah. off with this one. I'm going to send it to you. Um, okay. Can you see? I'll put it in the chat box because basically the verbing chat I can't see it. Oh wait, Dan suggested one. If two witches watch two watches, which witch would you Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch which witch? No, no, no. If two watches... Can someone else try it? Dan, can you do it? Oh. Two watches watch. If two witches watch it, two watches, which witch would watch which watch? <laughs> <laughs> try it, Mario. Two witches watch two watches which which could watch which watch. <laughs> uh, Lydia, can you try? Yeah. If two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch with watch? <laughs> Jocelyn, can you try this? I can't do it, yeah? So Jocelyn, can you do it? Uh, I don't see uh, the text, please. Uh, no worries, no worries. Um, in just the in the Google chat box. So I'll just share my screen so you can see. It's just because I can't, for example, see anything in the verbling chat. Just here, um, Jocelyn. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, I'll just send it to the verbling chat. Hopefully you can see this. Um, we'll be able to see it. I can't, but we'll see if it works. Okay. If anyone's writing to me from the outside, I can't see for some reason. I'm not okay. sure. If it's, but, yep, yeah, can you see? 
Guys, are there any comments you've seen on verbally, the verbally chat box that I should maybe answer, yeah? So, so I can't see anything. Or is it okay? okay. I, I, can, I can see. No worries. Um, this is all I can see. I can only see up until Nicholas's message, and nothing more. And if I type something, I can't see that I've typed it. So. Mm -hmm. Strange. Okay, so uh, guys, if you're watching, the only way really I can interact with you if you participate, unless someone else uh, passes on the message or something. But Okay, so... Uh, Jocelyn, can you see it now? Yes. Yes, please. Have a go at this. If to which is what she to what she's which 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 would watch which watch. Okay, two witches watch two watches. Which which would watch which watch? Yeah, this oh, is problem. It's difficult, uh, though. Very difficult. Yeah. Who would like to try this one? Mm. Okay. Okay. If to twitch. If two witches, yeah. Let's, in fact, let's do it slower first, and we'll correct your pronunciation as well. Jocelyn, yeah. So, can you say if, again? If two witches. If two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch a witch watch? Ooh. Okay. If two witches. Two witches. Two witches. 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 Then stop after. So witches. Stop. Witches. Okay, get, try to lose the witches. Yeah, so get rid of the uh and witches. 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 Okay, this is right. Two witches watch, two watches. Watches, can you say that? Watches. 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 Okay, and which witch? Wit, which, which, which. 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 Which which, 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 cool, nice. Mario, try it slowly and okay. see if there's any issues. Okay, if two witches watched two watches, which, 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 watch, which, watch. Perfect, fine. Uh, and, yep. The, the last witch, isn't it wrong? Uh, no, because is it's a... Uh, witch, no, witch. Uh, which which? Uh, the the, which the last one. So a witch is like the thing at Halloween. Yeah, yeah. But the the last one. When 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 it says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're right. Is, right. is it wrong? W uh, gr I think it's grammatical. which no which. Uh, which, which 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 would watch would watch yeah. which watch. Watch. It would be yeah. So it would be. I don't know. So yeah, it would be maybe the W. They never make sense, but it would be this. Yeah, yeah, that's one. That one. So yeah. If, yeah, grammatically, if two witches watch two watches, which which would I'm trying to comprehend this? Yeah. So uh, what the hell it's saying? Which which would watch which watch? Yeah, like specifically which watch? Yeah, that's good. Good observation. Uh, try it, Lydia. Again. <laughs> yeah. If slowly, two witches, slowly, slowly, slowly. If two witches watch two watches, which which? Would watch which watch? Fine. Uh, action. Okay. If two which watch two watch, which which would watch which watch? Okay. Make sure you have the witches watches. Make sure you put this down. Okay. If two which watches witches witches. Okay. If two witches watch two watches, which one? Which which would watch which watch? Formula one going on outside. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, watches, witches. Okay, uh, Dan, would you like to try? Yeah. If two witches watch two watches, which which would watch which watch? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Hamza, did you want? Okay. If two witches watched two watches, which which would watch which watch? Yeah, so it's, it's all right. Okay, so in that case, any more shout out, but I think that's all right. Okay, so another suggestion of a tongue twister. Does anyone know in English? Uh, okay. Maybe yeah. Peter Piper. Yeah, this is the, the common one. Uh, can you do it? Okay. Uh, Peter Piper picked the peckle, pick up paper, Peter Piper picked up peckle, pick up paper, Peter Piper picked the 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 peckle, pick up paper, Pe
Wow. wow. Well, <laughs> Hunter, actually, I'm impressed. You do this much better than yeah. I can't do tongue twisters. Okay, so yeah, peach pie, pick 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 peppers, pick pick peppers, peach pie, pick pick. No, I can't do it. I stumbled. Okay, so Hamza, well, can anyone else do this one? Does anyone else know this one? No. no okay. Yes, I already heard it, but. Uh, You've read it before. Read yeah. No, no, but. We're going to have a look at some here and we're going to try some. The first one I want to give you is, is this one. Okay. Have a look at this. I'll just put it here, but I won't be able to read your messages. Okay. I'll, I'll try it. What's a terrible tongue twister? What's a terrible tongue twister? What's a terrible tongue twister? What's a ter ah, okay. Uh, Mario, please. What a terrible tongue twister. <laughs> what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Yeah. What a terrible tongue twister. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, let's get. Dan. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Yeah, what 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 a terrible how can you make it what a terrible tongue twister? What a terrible tongue twister? <laughs> it's too difficult. Uh Javier, please. Uh, what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Actually I think for Spanish speakers maybe it's easier. To do these kind of things because everything goes into one, yeah? So, um, say it again, try it again. Who? Yeah, yes, please, Javier. Uh, uh, what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Yeah, I, I think it may be easier for Spanish speakers, I'm not sure. Uh, too, too much hours, too much hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the, yeah, what a terrible. Uh, who else would like to try this one? Jocelyn. What a terrible tongue Twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Exactly. Yeah. So what a terrible tongue twister. So what a terrible tongue twister. Terrible. Terrible. Can you say terrible? Terrible. 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 Yeah. What a terrible tongue twister. 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 So now try and say twister because the British are common. Yeah. Not like the French. Uh, we're common, um, and we're we're you know we say the words not so nicely. So twister, 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 not twister, twister. but twister. twister, twister. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So it sounds uh, more common. Yeah, not not so classy. But what a terrible tongue twister! What a terrible tongue twister! What a terrible tongue twister! And the what you don't have to say the t at the end because that can be quite difficult. Yeah, uh, to when you when you speak quite uh, yeah. quickly, so you can say what a terrible tongue twister, what a terrible tongue twister, what a terrible tongue like what you can say that that's fine. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible what a terrible tongue twister. There's still like a, a stop, so you can hear it, but it's not pronounced. Yeah, so what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible that would be very difficult to say. So really, native speakers would just say what what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, anyone else for this one? Don't be shy. Yeah, I can try. Yes, please, Hamza. Uh, what a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Yeah. So, what a terrible tongue twister. What? And that's okay. Can everyone try this what sound? What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Mario, you sound like a rebellious teenager. Yeah, so. <laughs> say, say again. What? Yeah, it's like when you, your, uh, your mum says, you, uh, Mario, can you come here? What? <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, try it. Dan, can you say what? 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 Yeah, cool. Hamster, can you say what? What? Can you say what you're playing at? What? what you're playing at? Okay, I'll write this down. Sorry. Oh, what you're playing? What you're playing at? What you're playing at? What you're playing at? What you're playing at me? Yeah, add a mate to the end, please, just for my own. What? Wait, wait. What you playing at, mate? What are you playing at me? Have a key track. I'm sorry. What you playing at me? What? What are you playing at me? At me? Uh, at me, what are you playing? Did, did you see I wrote it on Verbling? Did you see the, the chat? Uh, not really. Okay, I wrote it in Google chat. Uh, 
Google chat is better. There you go, Google chat, try this. Ah, okay. Uh, what you're playing at me. Mates. What you're playing uh, at, mate. What yeah, you're playing okay. at, mates. And the okay. mate, again like the T's, would be soft. Mate. 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 But I've just turned you into a chav, yes? <laughs> it's too fun. Okay, so, uh, can you try this? This is not really how everyone speaks. It's just I want you to be aware of how um, T's can be softened in British English. How we usually get rid of the T's. Sometimes we either get rid of the T's or overuse the T's. So you get people who just use no T's, a bottle of water, a bottle of water, or you get the people who talk like this and use too many T's and they would say the bottle of water. Yeah, so you get these two extremes in the UK, which is quite interesting. You get the people that just miss out all the T's and you get the people who use too many T's, yeah, maybe over enunciate. Okay, so just to, so you get an idea, Lydia, can you try this? Uh, what are you playing at me? What you're playing at me? What you're playing at me, mate. What? What you're playing? What you're playing at me? Mate. So you mate. kind of breathe with with mate. You kind of mate, mate. Mate. So mate. what you're playing at me? What you're playing at me? What yeah? What you're what playing? Ya, what you're playing? What yeah? What ya. you're playing at me? What you're playing at me? Right. Okay, but don't learn this. Don't say this. Yeah. So it's just to, so you understand the tease. Jocelyn, okay. <laughs> please could you try it? What you're playing at me? What are you playing at me, mate? Perfect. Yeah, good. Mario, can you try? What you play at me? Uh, not at me, but at mate. Mate. What you play at me? You should breathe in and out at the end, mate. What you play? You're at kind me? of like holding your stomach and say mate. Yeah, you like, and then mate. this, mate. but you don't, you don't say mate. Yeah, you don't say it, but it's like, mate, 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 mate. You tighten your stomach and you come at the end, yeah, mate. mate. What you play that, mate? Mate, mate. What you, what you playing at, mate? Mate, 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 mate. Yeah, what are you playing at, mate? Yeah, cool. Difficult. What you playing at? Can you say, uh, Lydia? Can you say a bottle of water? A bottle what? of water. <laughs> a bottle. <laughs> bottle. Bottle. I can. I can. I, I I would say a bottle of water. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so you're classy. Okay, so uh, Dan, could you say a bottle of water? A, a bottle, bottle of water. Water. Can you say water? water? A bottle of water. Can you say water? Water. 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 A bottle. A bottle of water. Okay. A you're told. We are told water. when we're younger. Always pronounce your T's, but lots of people don't. I would say my T's usually. However, if I'm speaking really quickly with a friend, I would not. So I'd say, uh, yeah, can you get me some water? Yeah, so things like this. Um, or, oh, do you mind uh, grab me a bottle of water? Sometimes it's, when you're talking really, really quickly, it's okay. But if you're thinking about what you're saying, you should always say the T's. But if you're speaking quickly, quite naturally, sometimes they go away. Um, but it's just so that you understand that if you go to the UK and you hear this, you're like, what? Water is water. Okay. Yeah, I remember yeah. a guy, an yeah. English guy, that, that said that a bottle of water, and he yeah, said water. you used to to say that like that. But I've yeah. been in England and um, I never. But <laughs> it, it to depends. Anyone so said it water. depends water. on the con context. Um, usually, I would say, and people like me would say, um, when you're speaking very quickly, water. But water. subtly, but we're told to pronounce the T. So we're told that if you don't pronounce the T's, that's kind of lower. But often, if you're speaking with a guy and they realize that maybe you're a foreigner, they would definitely pronounce everything. They'll try to pronounce everything really well, generally, but sometimes not. Yeah, so it depends. Um, but I would only use it when speaking really quickly, when I'm not paying attention, when I just want to chat like this. Yeah, chat like this, for example. Yeah, so it's used when you're speaking very, very quickly. But if I'm thinking about it, if I'm talking with someone, Older me with respect, I would always pronounce my T's and you know, P's and Q's and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so um, um, it depends on the, on the situation. So, uh, but please, it doesn't sound so good if you say water. But just be aware <laughs> that it is used, and if you, you hear it, don't be shocked. Okay, so uh, let's go on to the next one. Peter Piper, no, let's not do that one. So, Peter Piper, I'll just share my screen, and you should. Uh, uh, just of interest, where did you go to, uh, Lydia? To Cambridge. I've been living in oh, Cambridge. Oh, that's why, yeah? So everyone's educated in Cambridge. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. 
No, okay, how was Cambridge for you? Sorry? How was Cambridge for you? Ah, it is, it is very nice. It is a lovely city. I love it. So it's nice. How, how long were you there? Uh, more or less one year. Cool, yeah? So it sounds, sounds good. Cambridge, I don't know if they have a, any different accent. Do, do they speak differently? No. It's kind of standard. For me, they have the, the better accent. Yeah, so it's very <laughs> academic uh, city. Um, and lots of people from different parts. Yeah, the world yeah. Like this. So people generally speak with quite a good accent. It's not so regional because it's like like a mix of lots of people. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Cool. Okay. So in that case, let's go on. So let's go to Peter Piper. The one that I think Hamza mentioned. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah. Okay. Mario, would you like to try this? Peter Piper packed a pack of pickled peppers. A pickle of a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers? Pick, uh, Peter Piper picked. Cool. Yeah. So it would be uh, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. However, this would be an example where I would reduce the teeth a bit. Yeah, so I'd say uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peck of pe peppers Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper. Pick no, I'd say the Peter. Actually, I would say it with the T. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so, uh, Jocelyn, yeah, let's please uh, try this. Peter Peter Piper picked a peck of picket, picket peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper. So uh, a common thing is with the uh, the ers at the end of, of the word. Uh, yeah, you say Peter Piper, not Peter, Peter Piper. Yeah, so Peter, Peter Piper. Uh, yeah, Peter Piper. Piper. Peter Piper. Don't look at er. Think a P Piper. 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 Ah. Piper. Yeah, Piper. Piper. Peter Piper. 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 No, no R. Yeah, no R, no R. Because in French you have uh, the oh, R this sounds. You must always I, pronounce this, right? I, I. But yeah, so in English we just say keep it flat. Peter. 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 I would say ah. Peter. Peter Piper. Yes. Good. Nice. Okay. We're running out of time, guys. Any last questions before we make a move for today? It's okay. It's okay. No. Everything's fine. Okay. And last questions. Okay. okay. In that case, great to speak with you as always, um, Jocelyn. Good that you joined us, and all of you. I know. I think Dan. We've spoken before, haven't we? Before this class. Uh, sorry. Was this the first time we spoke in this class? I can't remember. Or have we spoken in another class? No, it's my first class. Okay, so welcome, Dan. Uh, good to speak to you all. Take care. Have a good evening and afternoon, wherever you are. Okay.